I know this isn't my place, but I'm worried about how everyone is treating Wanda. Everyone seems very happy to have her back. That's what I'm talking about. A short time ago, she was a sock puppet for the mother of demons. We're acting like she's already back to normal. But she may never be normal again. How did you cope when you were first released from Lilith's control? Badly. I'm still figuring it out. I'm used to having another voice in my head, but Wanda didn't have a symbiote to keep her company. If you spoke with her, maybe you could help her through this. I don't know if I should do that. I'm no psychiatrist. You do not need to fix her. You just need to listen. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Just keep an eye on her, Hunter. She's hurting. Even if she doesn't know how to show it. Don't be mad, but I bet some cash that Wanda wouldn't come back. But here she is. Less evil and more traumatized. <laughs> a miracle. Releasing her from Lilith's grasp was a win for us all. Oh, sure. Say, does our non-existent health insurance cover therapy? Asking for your friend. It is hard to say. Perhaps she just needs time. Oh, that's what they all say, Hunter. I know PTSD when I see it. What she needs is an emotional support dog. Does Charlie count? Well, what about you? How's that wet noodle of yours holding up? The one in your head. Do not worry about me. Eh, try again. You've got that martyr look going on. A what? You know, someone who falls on their sword and doesn't ask for anything. That'll kill you quicker than your mom will. I am flattered that you care. Of course I do. Who else am I going to corrupt into becoming Hunter Pool? If you go around soaking up other people's problems like a sponge, you're gonna get so full you explode. So take it easy. I don't want to clean up that mess. I understand you spoke to... Wanda this morning. Tell me, how is she faring? Perhaps you should ask her yourself. I am sure she would like to hear from you. I'm not ready for that. I can't imagine that she doesn't feel some semblance of betrayal on my part. I was the one who gave up on her, and long before she fell to Lilith. I just thought she was lost to us, beyond saving. No one has been purged of Lilith's corruption before. I didn't think it was possible. But you and Nico made it possible. This isn't easy for me to say, but I'm sorry for ever doubting her. Who you should really be apologizing to is Nico. Yes, yes, I know. I just don't know if she would accept an apology from me at this point. Do it anyway. I can't help but ask, what was it like, purging Wanda of Lilith's corruption? Did you suffer any strange effects I should know about? Other than the circumstances surrounding it, the spell itself did not feel like anything more than another tiresome Latin incantation. Funny how some of the most potent magic out there can feel like the most mundane to work. Indeed. I'm relieved the spell was a boring one. I admit, I was worried. Nothing to worry about here. Good, then we can get back to work. Well, that's enough of me monopolizing your time for now. We'll talk more later. Today is the first in a long while I haven't awoken to see doom clouds gathering on the horizon. It's a refreshing change of pace. We successfully retrieved the Gamma Accelerator and brought Wanda home. No wonder your mood is lighter. I'm so glad we kept the Accelerator out of Lilith's hands. Although Tony's notion of stopping the prophecy is doomed to failure because the only thing that can stop Cathan is Cathan. But that's a worry for another day. Today is about optimism. I could not help but notice you left Wanda out of your optimistic worldview. Have you spoken to her? Not yet. I went to sleep last night hoping I'd have clearer thinking on the matter this morning and... It remains foggy. Do you really think you can avoid talking to her forever? I don't know yet what I would say to her. I still feel guilt for allowing her to fall to Lilith. Perhaps I'll follow Caretaker's lead here and wait to see what she does. 
Your instincts are sound. Trust them. The little voice in your head never steers you wrong. Most of the time, I suppose I'd agree with you. Except for the times that voice is Mordo projecting his thoughts into my mind. I would like to talk more, but there is still much for me to do. Too much, but I appreciate the time you gave me. Be well. I can't tell you how great it feels to have the Gamma Accelerator back. Seriously, total game changer. You are well. But we can't start passing out the party favors quite yet. If we don't find Johnny Flame Top and grab the Parchment of Power, this thing is just a glorified barbecue lighter. Seems like you've got this whole thing planned. I'm impressed at how you always seem to know what to do next. Always ten steps ahead of everyone. Well, I have no shortage of ideas. It's executing them that's tricky. I try to keep a little notebook on hand to jot down ideas as they come up. Fascinating. Did you write this whole plan down in your notebook when it occurred to you? Well, sort of. It just says, uh, <clears throat> Oh my god, we have to find Johnny Blaze or we are all going to die horribly. I underline the word horribly. And if we do get the parchment, you really think you will be able to stop the prophecy? My appreciation of magic is evolving quite a bit thanks to you. It'll be tricky, but I think it's possible. Whatever you are planning on doing, you should move quickly. Our time is running out. Like I said, we're halfway there. Just gotta find Blaze, grab the page, blow it up, and next thing you know, we're kicking back on my yacht in the Bahamas. No matter what though, this whole thing has already been completely worthwhile. Oh? And why is that? Because right now, I'm looking at the Gamma Accelerator, and Bruce Banner is looking at an empty spot where the Gamma Accelerator used to be. Ooh, now that Wanda's back, I feel like the band is finally back together. Can't wait to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Miss that witch. Go easy on her, Robbie. She's been through a lot. It might be a while before things go back to normal again. Tch, normal? Since when were we ever normal? But Nico is right. Wanda might not be as social as we would like her to be. I just want to make sure she knows that we love her and are happy to have her home. Maybe start slow with something familiar, like a movie night. Blade, you just read my mind. Wow, really? What am I thinking now? You must have a mind for it to be read, Robbie. I meant let's have a watching party in Wanda's honor. I think she's really gonna like that. May I join you? You can sit over there. Forgot how relaxing it is to just zone out and watch a good movie. You seem to be adjusting well, after... I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> now that you're here, you might as well join us. That sounds lovely. All right. Wanda, are those three women witches? They are. They do not seem like witches. That's because they don't know they have powers. Yet. And if they did, they would be wise to hide them. Reminds me of how all the witches tried to hide themselves in 17th century Salem. Times really haven't changed that much. If there is one thing I know for sure, it is that power frightens people. And when people get frightened... Well, you know. You literally lived around the times of the Salem Witch Trials. I was a young child, but yes. Caretaker and Agatha were terrified of being found out in those days. I know the feeling. <sighs> Sometimes I just wished I was, you know, normal. Things would have been easier for me growing up. There are also times when I wonder what my childhood would be like if... If you weren't born, you? Basically, yes. Agatha always encouraged me to accept myself, but then... <sighs> you know what? I don't want to distract you from the movie. We're just getting to the good part. Are those witches actually charmed by that awful man? Well, he is the devil. Sort of. Then why do they not just turn him into a toad or banish him? Because they're good witches, Hunter. Like I hope to be one day. So, do you think Stark can pull this off? It's a risk. A big risk. I think the guy's a genius, but come on. It feels like we're pushing all our chips on this one bet. If he manages to pull it off, 
Our prayers will be answered. And if he doesn't, we gotta be prepared for hell on Earth. You want in on this discussion, Hunter? Cap and I were just having some words about Tony. I hear a bit of hesitation in your voice. The thing is, I've seen Tony like this before. He becomes fixated on one idea to the exclusion of all others. Sometimes the results are great. He can split a molecule and make it rain in the Sahara. But considering the danger we're all in, we can't afford to have anything less than absolute perfection. Otherwise, I'm afraid too many people will die. I know the danger all too well, and I would say your concerns are valid. The question is, what to do about them. I don't want to completely derail the plan, but I do think it would be wise to have an alternative ready to go. Meaning? We need to start walking, talking, and planning as though this prophecy is going to come true. So what do you plan to do? Are you going to confront Tony? I'm not sure what that would accomplish. Our skepticism aside, no one wants this plan to work more than we do. We'll just have to cross our fingers and hope, like everyone else.